Welcome back. Twitter is taking a stand on misinformation. The social media giant reportedly suspending millions of fake accounts. Jerry Willis with all the details now. Jerry. Uh, good morning, Maria. That's right. 70 million, 70 million accounts. That's the number of accounts Twitter is suspending. The shutdown started in May and June and are continuing in July as the social media company escalates its battle against fake and suspicious accounts, trying to reduce the flow of disinformation. At a rate of one million a day, the account suspensions have more than doubled since October when the company revealed under pressure from Congress how Russia used fake accounts to interfere with the U.S. presidential election. Twitter's move is so aggressive that it may result in a rare decline in the number of monthly users in the second quarter. Twitter declined to comment on any decline in its user base, and there was really no information on their website about this whole topic. However, the Washington Post reporting that Twitter's vice president for trust and safety, Del Harvey, saying the company is changing the calculus between promoting public discourse and preserving safety. Harvey saying this, one of the biggest shifts is in how we think about balancing free expression versus the potential for free expression to chill someone else's speech. Free expression, she says, doesn't mean much if people don't feel safe. Twitter had some 336 million accounts at the end of the first quarter. It relies on, of course, human real users to respond to advertising. That's their main source of revenue. The company under pressure to take action, Senator Mark Warner said this, quote, I wish Twitter had been more proactive sooner. I'm glad that after months of focus on this issue, Twitter appears to be cracking down on the use of bots and other fake accounts, though there's still much more work to do. So uh, lots going on there, Maria, and I think a lot of people will be focused on this issue of the fake accounts. You know, one bot can send out thousands uh, of, of fake tweets. It's amazing how mm. these things work. So how do you know if one is real and one is fake? Well, I think ha I don't have the answer Twitter to that, but I think somebody on your panel oh, does. Well, yeah, uh, there's a website called TwitterAudit.com. I tried to look up everybody, but I think it limits limits it to three. So you just put in your handle, and then it tells you the number of fakes you have. You also have analytics.twitter.com, too, that can tell you exactly where your Twitter followers are from, which region, male or female, uh, the income bracket. I don't know how accurate that is. So is that a Twitter product? The, that, that the analytics you? one is a Twitter product. A Twitter the product. audit, I don't think is that, so. Is that a paid service of Twitter, or? Or is it uh, something The analytics free? you can get, the audit, uh, I th now that I've tried to put in your Twitter handle, Lee, it won't let me. So it, uh -oh. I think it you have took to pay. them a while to, to crack down on this. So Jerry. this big turnaround for them. They used to say that they were the free speech wing of the free speech party. Not anymore. They completely <laughs> changed it. And, you know, all these social media companies, they, they are flirting with a lot of regulation. They're trying to get in front of the problem. And I think that's what you're seeing right here. Mm. I think also, in addition to all of the, the regulation fears, there's also the sentiment now that are so anti some of these big companies, social media companies, because there's just a lack of trust that people don't. It's true. You don't know. I mean, what is it? Something like 70 percent of Americans aren't trusting what they're getting on social media at this point. So I think they right. have and, to and act. Congress says that they are censoring conservative ideas. But they're not. Nobody's deleting the accounts. That was the issue with Facebook saying the revenue is still good. Nobody. We complain about it. We talk about it. Yet I haven't deleted anything. I've, it's hard to delete. I know. They make it really difficult to delete it. I, I don't. I've, I've tried to delete accounts. I don't think you can. One of the things interesting, though, is the culture of a lot of these companies to ask for forgiveness and not permission. And right. that's the way they sort of operate. So they, they go, go, go. Then they realize they have regulatory issues and they just ask for forgiveness. By the way, yeah. most of these accounts possibly dormant. So that's how they're going to get away with, like, not having an impact on their on when they report the number of users. All right. Jerry, great stuff. Thanks so much. Thank Jerry you. Willis.